Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Stage Manager on macOS Ventura. They finally released macOS Ventura to the public, so now it's finally out. So go ahead and go update your Macs. There are a few cool features that they released with this update, but I think Stage Manager is definitely one of the biggest features that they introduced this year. Now I know Stage Manager has already been on iPad for a while. I'm not the biggest fan of it on iPad just because it's not really working with the workflow that I have on my iPad. But I think on Mac, it's gonna be a lot better for me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be testing it out and seeing how it works and just all the features and things that it has. So let's go on our Mac. And the first thing I'm gonna go into is settings. So you can see exactly where it is in settings. So all you need to do is you gotta go down to system some settings here they changed the name for this because it's been system preferences for years but now it's system settings because they want it to be all the more the like iphone and ipad and have a cohesive look so also settings now looks different which i prefer it looks a lot more like we know it on the iphone and the ipad so much better and just easier to navigate i think so let's scroll down until we find desktop and dock. So in here, you're probably used to these settings. Um, it just looks a little bit different, but if we scroll all the way down, you'll see here is stage manager. It is turned off by default. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on. Um, and then this is what it's gonna look like. Um, now, the first thing I noticed when I turned this on is I have stickies on my desktop. I just like the look of them there. Um, and that usually goes into its own little separate thing. And and it, then I don't have my folders that I usually have here on my desktop and things like that. Or if I click off to my desktop, um, the stickies disappear, as you can see. So I didn't really like that whole look, but luckily if you go into settings, um, you can go to customize and here you can turn off or on recent applications or not. You can go ahead and select desktop items. So I like having that turned on so that I can always have these folders just because I wanna quickly reference them or something, or if I just want my stickies open and on my desktop, I can have that um, with this here. Sticky sounds so weird. I'm just gonna call it sticky notes from now on. Um, but yeah, and then also you have show windows from an application all at once or one at a time. So you can adjust that as well. Um, so yeah, those are all these settings that you can change within the um, stage manager settings. Um, so then what you can also do um, that I would quickly want to reference is going to your control center. I already set this, but I'm going to quickly show you guys. So on default, it is set as don't show in menu bar, but it is if you click on control center here in control center, you'll see there is stage manager where you can quickly turn it off or on. But what I prefer is having it in my menu bar here so I can quickly just set that if I want to. So all you need to do is just set it to show in menu bar and then you'll see it here and here you can turn it off or on or go into the settings for stage manager. So yeah, that is also something that you can go ahead and set if you want to, to add it to your menu as well as have it in your control center. So yeah, that is all that is for settings. So now let's actually just test out Stage Manager more, seeing how it works and how it looks. Um, so I'm just gonna close this window here. So as you can see, I have a few here already. Um, so I will now, when using Stage Manager, never be using things in full screen because I like the fact that I can, even if it is kind of full screen, it's not full screen, the window is just pretty big um, because in full screen, let's just make this full screen, you'll see it's not going to stage manager, it's just in the um, view up here. So yeah, I prefer now having things like this. But what I really like is being able to quickly switch between apps by just going to the left-hand side of my display and having this pop up. Uh, you see this might be a little annoying with um, Notion settings, so we'll see how I manage that. I can probably just click here too. Um, but yeah, so that's really nice. So if I wanna quickly go to an app, I can just quickly search or switch to that one. And also if I want say Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator in one little um, window, all I can do is I can just drag that in here um, and then it's set and it's here as well. So now I can have both of these apps open in one window. So if I just switch to my home screen now, you'll see I have both of those here. Um, so this is really helpful, I think, if you have a bunch of workspaces where you're working on different things. So if I wanna have, say, Notion open, as well as let's open up a calendar. I'm just gonna quickly add Notion in here. Then I can have these two open and then I have two different workspaces, basically. I have one where I'm planning things and then I have one for 
more work related things here. Um, so it's really nice just to have groups of apps open. Um, and then the stickies one is pretty easy for me to just switch to desktop, I feel like. So that's really nice. Um, so yeah, it looks really cool and it's very neat at the side of my display here. I don't feel like it interferes too much. Um, and like I said, it's not so hard to just like switch to a different one. If you're in something that's full screen, like Photoshop here is full screen, I just go to the left side of my display and I can switch to that or I can still go with three fingers swiping up to see all my open windows to be able to view this or to be able to go to a different stage manager setting. Um, so yeah, that is so cool and I think I'm gonna enjoy this a lot more on my Mac than I am on iPad just because I said like it's not the same um, I feel like because iPad is just a whole different thing apps you use differently on iPad um, I don't love multitasking on iPad I prefer it on my Mac it's very possible on iPad but yeah I just prefer it on my Mac definitely it's just easier to manage Windows so um, yeah that is really cool and I'm glad that I can finally use stage manager because I was kind of avoiding it on my iPad so yeah that's basically all I wanted to cover for you guys on just like stage manager just testing it out on Mac finally um, also there are a few other things that came to Mac with this update which is really nice we finally have the weather app on Mac if you can see here we finally have clock now which you can set timers and alarms on your Mac itself um, then there are other things like mail got a big update on Mac with undoing sends and things like that I'm not sure exactly everything that's new there but I know there are a few things there as well also one of the biggest things is probably just the ability to now add your iPhone as a webcam to your your computer um, so that is really cool and I still want to test out desk view with that where it uses the ultra wide camera on your camera to get kind of like a top-down view um, but you do need a kind of special mount for that on your computer um, but that is all really cool features that now are, are introduced with Mac I'm pretty sure when a new update comes out we'll finally have access to the freeform app I did do a whole video on that on my iPad and on my iPhone um, if you want to check that out, I'll have that linked in the eye of top, but that's probably going to come to Mac as well soon, which is really exciting. So I'm excited to test um, this out even more, the new Mac OS, and I already like some of the smaller updates like settings and things like that, that just looks more... It just looks better so i'm really excited to be testing out further also with the ability to add the iphone as a webcam you can also use the mic for your iphone so right now while screen recording um, my laptop screen i'm actually using the mic from my phone to kind of get the audio because you can now just connect the mic for your iphone as well if you want to which is really really convenient um because the mics on these are not always the best. So yeah, I really like that fact that you can do that as well. But okay, that was my video on Stage Manager on macOS Ventura. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If this video was helpful for you guys, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Definitely comment down below what your thoughts are on Stage Manager, on Mac, and just the whole new update. Definitely leave your thoughts down below. And um, yeah, definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all my other videos like this. And click on the video to see one of my previously uploaded videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!